Ridley saw the film as an opportunity to explore a different part of his psyche, mm -hmm. too. And I think the movie was very cathartic and even almost curative for him um, because he also has this really warm, kind, generous soul that he hasn't fully expressed mm. in his work before. <laughs> yeah. We shot all of Mars in Jordan in the desert, wow. which was a different challenge than, the, than the, the snow, but was a challenge. And Matt's walking around the deserts of Jordan in a spacesuit, um, which, you know, is not dangerous, but is not comfortable. Uh, did he have the little coolers, like the Iron Man suit? Yeah, the, in, the, the inside <laughs> wow. coolers, he did. He's the greatest guy in the he's entire world. He's amazing. Yeah, I made Contagion amazing. with him, and he's just, he just brings the greatest attitude yeah. to the set every single day. Let's do the math. Our service mission here was supposed to last 31 souls. For redundancy, they sent 68 souls worth of food. That's for six people. So for just me, that's going to last 300 souls, which I figure I can stretch to 400 if I ration. So I got to figure out a way to grow three years worth of food here on a planet where nothing grows. Luckily, I'm a botanist. The thing for me that was a challenge on Martian it's a very optimistic movie. Mm -hmm. And I actually think I also am not a naturally optimistic mm -hmm. person, maybe as a Jew, maybe as a writer, all of the things that are stacked against me being optimistic are <laughs> genetically stacked against me. And when I read the book of The Martian and the script, it is so unabashedly optimistic, mm -hmm. intelligently optimistic. And those are two things I hadn't really mm -hmm. seen before. Usually intelligence comes with a certain amount of cynicism or edge or criticism. And I read the book and felt like there's a, there's a passage at the end of the book. It's about how the human spirit is fundamentally good and that when people are trapped in a mine or an earthquake hits a city, people from all around the world send supplies. And that that is, no matter what your race, religion, nationality, that is your basic instinct. Um, and that was something when I read it in the book that seemed true, but I would not have believed it to be true before reading the book. <laughs> And I felt when we were making the movie that there was a chance it would, we would lose that optimism. That in a science fiction movie, and directed by Ridley, who's made darker films mm -hmm. in the past, that we would lose that spirit. And it was something that um, everybody just worked hard to hold on to. Back, by the way, to our worst experiences, Matt and I on Elysium were in a landfill dump uh, outside Mexico City for three weeks, <laughs> shooting in the second wow. biggest landfill dump in the world. Wow. Everybody on the crew was wearing hazmat suits and gas masks except the actors because oh, wow. they were on camera. So mm. Matt showed up because we were like, it's fine, we've checked the soil, <laughs> sure. it's completely safe. He shows up, you know, excited to go to work, and everyone around him is wearing a hazmat suit. <laughs> <laughs>